What's up, my LS crazed amigos? It's your boy Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and LSA supercharger installing tips. Yeah, that's right. You know where? Uh, you know what's up with the '71 Chevelles? You've been following me. You know I'm gonna put a LSA uh, supercharger on this car. But uh, before I do so, you know there's certain things you got to do to the engine. You got to prep it up, as well as uh, there's certain things you got to do to the LSA before you, you know, install it. So what I want you to do is I want you to follow me over to where I keep my parts and uh, we're going to have a little chat. Come with me. Come on. Come on. So you do all your research. You go online. You go to these blogs. You go to these websites that tell you how to install an LSA on your LS engine. You do all your homework. You cross the T's and dot the I's. You got everything down. You set your engine up with the right pulley system, the right... Uh, let's see, the right heads, the right cams and everything like that, the right cam. And then you go online or either to a swap meet, your uncle's garage or your friend's basement or something, wherever you get your LSA, you got it for the right price and you're ready to nestle this LSA supercharger on your engine. You think you're ready, right? No, you're not ready. There's certain, no, no, you, you, you got it. <laughs> There's certain things you got to do to prepare, just like you prepared your engine. Just like you prepared your engine, you got the right cam and everything. There's certain things you got to do to prepare your LSA supercharger to go on top of your engine. I like to say nestle on top of your engine. Uh, it's a two-piece. You got your snoot, and as you can see, I removed the pulley because I'm going to go with a smaller pulley. I'm going to go with one step smaller. I think it's a 2.55 than stock, which will give me a little bit more boost, which is cool. And then you got your bottom half. This is the whole body of the supercharger. Now there's certain things you gotta do to prep these two pieces to fit and to actually get the most performance out of this thing uh, before you install it on your car. And I'm gonna go through the steps that I'm gonna take. We're gonna start with the bottom half, all right? Well, actually, it's both a bottom half, technically, because this goes on the front. But we're going to start with this, okay? Now, we're being that you have the LSA off your car, now would be a perfect time to check the level of your supercharger fluid. Now, there's a lot of people who think that you don't have to change supercharger fluid in this. A lot of people think that they're that it's it's a set and forget it as far as, you know, once it's on there, it's, it's locked in. You can't change the supercharger fluid, but I'm here to tell you you can. Now, the supercharger fluid that I'm going to put in here is the original supercharger fluid that came with the car. It's AC Delco. I don't know. Get a good, good, good look at that. Let's see. See the part number? All right, supercharger fluid. And it comes with like a little, little top, which you take your, you remember this? The Terry tool? <laughs> and uh, poke a hole. Remember, blow it out because uh, you don't want to get any contaminants in there, you know. And then you take your hex, what size is this? This is a, what size is this? Three sixteenths, like a, it's got like a six-sided hex, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> All right, and you open the, start squeezing it in. Until it starts to leak out of the supercharger. That's it, there it go. Starting to leak. Take your cap, close it up. I'm gonna make sure that rubber grommet is on it, because there's a rubber grommet. Yep, that seals it in. You don't wanna forget that. Okay, now this is the underside of the LSA supercharger, the bottom half. Okay, now you want to inspect it, make sure the gaskets are good because you can reuse these gaskets because they're, I forgot what this material is called, neoprene? I'm, well, I hope that's right. But anyways, you can you want to make sure that there's no uh, scuffs and, and you, you should be able to reuse these things because like I said, they're reusable gaskets. The V-Series and the, L, the ZL1, they have this thing right here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. It's a dowel pin. I broke mine already. This is it right here. It sticks out. It protrudes out of the out of the head and through the gasket. 
Basically, it's an alignment, uh, an alignment dowel pin. So if you have heads from off of a V-Series or either ZL1, you could just put this right on and there's a hole in the head, in the passenger side head, that this little dowel will slip into so you know that it's dead on aligned. But being that my 6.0 on my LY6 doesn't have that hole. So what I had to do is break this. And the way I did it was, I just want to show you, the dowel sits in there like this. So it sticks out. I don't know if you can see that. So it'll stick out like that. What I did was I came in with my chisel and a hammer, pop, hit it about three times, and it just it just broke off. It looks like this now. You see why I broke it off? So you're gonna have to get that out unless you, like I said, unless you have uh, heads from off the off the car, or you have the engine. If you, you have the engine, you don't have to worry about what are we doing. But um, most people don't have the heads off the car; they just have this. And this is how you're gonna prep your uh, your bottom half of your supercharger. Now, I don't need to tell you that you need to clean this off very well and everything, because you gotta clean this off, get all the old stuff off, and you gotta get some RTV seal, RTV sealant from which I'm gonna show you from uh, AC Delco and. Um, like I said, just inspect it, make sure that there's no imperfections as far as like dents and and that the the gaskets are all you know together. There's no holes or or it's not broken or anything like that. And you should be good to go. And um that's pretty much it, you know, as far as the bottom half of this. And you want to make sure it's clean, you want to make sure and like I said, now's now's the perfect time to clean it out and you know go in there and if you see something that's not right, just make sure you clean it out and and uh, make sure it's in good shape before you put on the, before you put on the engine. And of course, you need to torque them down, and uh, you should be good to go. Now remember, <laughs> these superchargers are not light. They are not light, so you should do this with a friend, or if you got room like how I got in this engine compartment. You know, like, uh, so you can install it. Now, I'm not going to install it just yet. I'm just, I'm just fitting it in. Now, being that you don't know, this is important. Seeing that you don't have the dowel pin to guide you in, what you have to do is you got to kind of look and see, because when you install it, you can see where the bolt holes are, because the bolts hold, the bolt holes will line it up for you. And this looks like this is where it's going to what it's going to live. But like I said, I'm not going to bolt it in just yet. I'm just testing it out, just fitting it in. And you know, I got to clean the clean the the surface off before I bolt them down and everything and so it's starting to look it's, we're getting there. <laughs> Now remember, you want to inspect, make sure the gaskets are all good and make sure that they line up with the hole. But sometimes, every now and then, you'll see this. Now what happens is during shipping or when they took it off and, you know, like, don't, you know, most of the time they took it off and they didn't care how they, they didn't treat it right. I mean, they took it off and threw it in the box or something like that and made damage to the gasket. And to repair this, to, to replace the gasket, you have to pop these out and, you know, especially when the gasket is just a little bit warped. And let me show you what I'm talking about when I say a little bit warped. See what you want to do, you want to inspect, make sure it's not, it fits with the hole. It fits with the hole. See how this one fits with the hole? And you can also see right through it, that's where the bolt hole is going to go. That's the bolt hole. That's where it's going to go. But if you look here, we got a situation. Look at this one. You see how that's all messed up right there? And like I said, that's probably from, you know, when they took off the supercharger and put the new one on, they just didn't care about this one or they just threw it around or I'm going to say throw it around because things are heavy but I'm going to show you a quick fix how I'm going to fix this you get your adjustable and be very careful with the gasket check this so out what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the adjustable got it I'm going to grab one part of the adjustable on this end right here this is the part of the gasket and the part of the body of it and gently get this thing back into shape There you go. That's all that's to it. If I left it that way, I was looking for 
for air leak, a vacuum leak. So you can see all the holes are pretty much the way they should be. Quick fix. And so those are some of the steps that I'm going to take before I uh, install my LSA uh, supercharger on this car, you know. And, you know, the only <laughs> you got to be patient. You know, like, don't think I'm not excited and I want to just knock this all out and go for a ride. No, no, no. You take your time and you, you, you can even make a checklist. I got a checklist of all the stuff that I want to make sure is done before I... Uh, start this car up is, is stuff is minor is even putting antifreeze into the car because you know like sometimes you get a little anxious and you just overlook certain things and you don't want to overlook something that could be pretty much a, a disaster you know that 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 uh, if you if you overlook it it could be a disaster because this is all about being having fun all right so looking at the clock on the wall or should i say ceiling it's time for me to get back to putting this car back together and uh like I said, you know, we're going to have fun with this. We're going to get the dyno numbers and everything. Hopefully, they're not too embarrassing because, you know, I'm doing a lot of work here. <laughs> but anyways, as always, as always, please be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.